First tonight at 6, Israel's Prime Minister is in Washington, D.C., and that visit is causing a stir locally. Thanks for joining us. I'm John DeLuca. And I'm Tiffany Murphy. ABC6 News reporter Ryan Medeiros had the chance to speak with a few pro-Israel protesters in downtown Providence this afternoon, and he also heard from some displeased onlookers. Members of the Rhode Island Coalition for Israel gathering on Orm Street in Providence today in support of Prime Minister Netanyahu and his calls for U.S. support in the war in Gaza. There is not enough we can do. They are a sliver of a country surrounded by people that want them dead and gone. You can't fight war light. Some passers-by expressing frustration with the group's calls to continue the battle. Who's, who's trying to kill all the Israelis? Destroy rapists! Destroy rapists! Destroy the rapists! Keep it moving! Get going! The pro-Israeli protesters calling on Hamas to make the first step towards peace. We're looking for the end of the war too. But, you know, Hamas, they could have ended the war the day after it started. They've decided not to do that because you know, that they couldn't care less about the people in Gaza. Pro-Palestinian protesters gathering in the nation's capital today, with the division between the two sides more apparent than ever. No one wants to see you innocent lives perish. But on October 7th, how many innocent lives perished? This is our due. The job needs to be finished. In Providence, I'm Ryan Medeiros, ABC6 News.